in my own version of my tower with a, a four bear defensive and, and obviously a whole new cover screen. Uh, I said this is gonna be pretty different. It looks pretty complicated, but that doesn't matter. So let's get to transforming. Let's go to gold. Now we'll go to. We're gonna pull the arms out. Oh, poop. Poop, 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 Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. Now, I'm gonna pull this up a little. And that is High Tower, my own version of High Tower in robot mode. It's pretty good. It has an interesting mouth and head. I tried to do it the best I can. I saw the video on it. I saw I saw a toy of it on Amazon, so I was like, you have to make this. It's pretty good. I I had to destroy uh my favorite one of my favorite Lego sets. Uh my Lego trans it's a Lego set. It's a Lego Transformer Titanic. I'm sure you all have seen it before. So I put in a uh, pose. So it looks pretty cool. So let's get to reviewing on the robot mode. The head is pretty good. I like, I, I think it's pretty cool that they add these like little vents. And the mouth, I used these little pieces to make it slide down. And the eyes were pretty easy. I used one of these uh, uh, stud parts with, with, on the end, with, it has a double-sided stud, I mean circle stud type. And for the treads, it's pretty easy. I, I had, I used a Hero Factory ball joints and mixer joints in here. It's pretty big. The arms are kind of weird. It has a, a really, it's kind of like uh, Stingzer from Bonkogons, but he's not a triangle. And the only thing that's uh, 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 noticeable, if you're a Bonkogon fan, is probably this tail. It's a tail. Okay, let's put it down and get him back at this is gonna make to another cool pose. <laughs> I think it's really cool how I'm I'm uh, showing all my Lego builds on a carpet and I usually have to have it stand on this wall. But this is it's a uh, it, it's this. I really like how it's how it looks like his little thing is going into the ground. Well, I'm filming on carpet, so yeah. Gotta have carpet if you wanna get that eviction. If you look at it, it seems pretty easy to build. I think it. the video hasn't been going for that long, like four minutes. So let's uh, keep on going. Let's, uh, let's do something. Eat or eat or slow motion activated. I'm not gonna sing the rest because it might be copyright. Let me get a minifigure to compare it. This is a minifigure for a size comparison. 
it's pretty nice. It's not bad. No, we don't need this. <laughs> I think that was very dramatic. Easy. Three pieces. Pretty good, just my opinion. Names. Then the help cut out this video and like, oh, why go now? I'll show you how to build it. Okay. Fast. Now, here for the hook. Gonna attach it right here. Right here. This is the head. The head seems a bit complicated, but don't worry. We use one of these books with all studs on the side. Easy. Legs are easy. How okay, uh, extend these out, and that's how you build one of my Legos. I think that won't be the only uh, tutorial of how to build one of my Legos, but, but if you're happy with it, you're welcome. So even though we're like uh, six minutes or like seven minutes and like one minute wait oh we're seven minutes in and this look and the shadow looks like a spider just a little spot Ooh. if you ostrich i don't read symbolance So, you, so, if you ever, so, guys, if, I think they go are amazing, and also, this is the version for the arm, for the hand, I don't know how it's going to attach, but it's probably going to, so this is okay. how the hand will look like. And flip this around. And that's how the hand would look. It's pretty good. So, video I'm gonna show that they go, and then I'm gonna destroy it. So, just a quick look at my Lego. I'm gonna have to destroy it to make a. a, a yeah, you all hurt me, hurt me, but it's pretty good. So, I'll see y'all in the next Lego video. Adios.